today I will be sharing with you 5 understated bags from Hermes. And if you don't know the brand and their bags well, you probably wouldn't be able to recognize it even when you see one on the streets. I spoke quite a bit about luxury logos flash or fatigue last week and discussed at length about big brands and logos and my preferences. I will leave the link to the video up there and in the description section below if you missed that video. So since I always talk about Hermes, today I will share with you 5 understated bags which has caught my eye and let's see if you agree. For those of you new here, I welcome you to join my channel and subscribe and of course, thank you for clicking on this video. And I welcome you all subbies back here for another fun time chit-chatting about bags and luxury. Let's begin. Alright, so apart from the Airman's Birkin and Kelly which are so highly coveted now, did you know that Airman's also produces other bags in their collection? I have carefully picked out 5 bags which has caught my eye and I am keen on adding them to my collection. I myself have watched a few YouTube videos and I must say I am sold to getting these bags. My number one favourite is the Hermes 2424. This beautiful bag was released in store around December 2018 and it feels to me like a cross between the Birkin and the Kelly from its structure. The front comes with a flap and the iconic Kelly lock and it also has these curvy top handles plus the option of a long strap to convert it into a shoulder bag for the size 29 though this shoulder strap option is not present in the size 35. It is casual in its shape and gives off a rather relaxed and almost a slouchy look. This Hermes 2424 comes in two sizes, the size 29 and the 35, which is definitely a great business bag. I was literally that close to purchasing this bag online in green pearl in size 29, but it was out of stock. Thankfully, I managed to take some photos of this bag I guess the only downside to it is that the bulk of the bag relies quite heavily on the turn lock which also means that the bag needs to be closed if carried from the top handle of the size 35. As for the size 29, you can still sling it around without your contents falling out by carrying it by the sling option. So that's my first understated Hermes bag that I wish to own one day. Now the second one would be the mini Huli or Huli. Dating back to the spring-summer 2011 collection, this Huli design is a stunning, modest and elegant creation from Hermes. If you love the construct of the Hermes Constants, then this Hermes Huli is a close comparison with the Constants and maybe even better in my opinion. I have heard of friends having issues with the H class of the Constants and of course some of us may find the H buckle logo too big and too showy. The Huli, on the other hand, is such an under-the-radar, fuss-free bag where the flap glides smoothly behind the chain buckle detailing. I have seen some YouTubers overstuffing their Huli and still able to close the flap, just that it sits a bit higher than it should. The more amazing thing and even more versatile than the Constance is the flexible shoulder strap. If you scrutinize closely, one side of the shoulder strap is detachable, which allows you to double up the strap as a short handle shoulder strap or to carry it as a sling as shown. I love the versatility of this strap option. And of course, let's talk about the interior compartments. The central divider is actually a slip pocket in itself in addition to the patch pocket on the external of the bag, which is great for tickets or slipping your phone in. Size-wise, it comes in both the mini hoodie and the hoodie 24 which I will put a slide of the dimensions here for your reference. Now, now, the third amazing understated bag is the Hermes Bolide. Although it may appear simple looking, but it's actually the first Hermes purse with a zipper. Let me tell you a story before we talk more about this bag. So, Emil Morris Hermes travelled to North America and visited the Ford Automobile factory and he discovered the use of zippers in the cloth top of cars. When he returned to France, he found a patent for the zipper and incorporated the zipper into bags, of which the Hermes Bolide is the first purse with the zipper. The name Bolide means Comet, which is inspired by the nickname for sports cars. 
Although really simple in its silhouette, with two top handles and a detachable strap, this bag boasts a single zipper closure and I love the way how it is secured at the end of the zipper. There is literally nothing fancy about this bag and even the oval patch of leather in the front does not spell the Hermes word or logo. Isn't that rare for a luxury bag? Next up would be the Hermes Helzen. Versatility and theft proof would be the word that comes to mind for this Hermes Helzen. This under the radar bag was born in the Hermes Fall Winter 2014 collection. For real, this bag is multi-talented and should be given an award. It can be carried four ways, which is number one as a messenger bag, number two and three as a tote bag with long or short straps, and number four as a clutch. Too much to handle? Let's break it down with this picture for you to digest. Size-wise, this spectacular bag is offered in both sizes 22 and 31, with its dimensions shown up here. And lastly, another favourite of mine is the Hermes Toolbox, which is such a lovable shape. And you know what? It looks perfect in such a cute pop of colour. Doesn't it remind you of a milk carton with handles and a shoulder strap? This cute number was first launched in 2010, Hermes Fall Winter Collection, looking quite like the Kelly with the top turn lock closure plus the signature Hermes lock and the detachable shoulder strap, it also has such a spacious interior. There are many looks to this bag as well, which is, you know, carrying just like a milk carton, but also folding the side outward to make it more like a tote bag. The Hermes toolbox speaks plus in itself, and I find a little playful and great in pops of colour. It also comes in three sizes, namely the Hermes toolbox 20, 26 and 33, which I will put the dimensions up here. All in all, I see luxury as something classic that will stand the test of time, something evergreen that can be appreciated for generations, and these are my top 5 picks apart from the Hermes Curly or Birkin. I hope you enjoyed my 5 recommended understated Hermes bags, and do tell me what you think in the comment section below. Well, as you can tell, there wasn't any logos on these bags, but they look so so classy in my opinion. Thank you again for joining me in Life with Loki and I hope you enjoyed and support my channel and hit that subscribe button to join me in my weekly chit chat about luxury so that we can connect. Also, if you could tell me your favourite Hermes bag apart from the Kelly or Birkin and why so. Have a blessed week queens and goodbye.